This is part 3 of Flying Around in Papervision 3D. Now after creating our Carlotta file, we brought it right into Flex, and we, then in Flex, of course, we bring in the Papervision, and it's really easy to do. There's only five steps here. You create a new DAE, and we named it DAE file. You load that DAE file with the Carlotta file, and then you create a display object, and it's really that display object that we're moving around with the XYZ and the rotations and the pitch, yaw, and roll. And once you've got that display object, you add child. So we add that to the, what we call a display clip. And then that display clip is added to the scene. And that's how easy it is to add a Carlotta file uh, to a Flex project or to Papervision. So it's not more difficult than that. And that's what I'm finding out more and more as I begin to dig through and work through and reprogram some of the stuff that I've seen in Papervision is that it's really simple. And so I'll try to, as we go through this series, to show you how easy it is to do that stuff. Uh, PHP and HTT, HTTP services, of course, the heart of what we're doing here. Without those, we wouldn't be able to write to the DOM services. Let me just talk a little bit about the architecture and one of the, my banes, and that is the focus manager. So let's look at our, our PHP, and uh, we've already looked at the PHP, so let's take a look at HTTP services. One thing I need to just let you know in Flex is that there's this sandbox issue. So I actually have to have two sets of uh, HTTP service commands. I want to show that to you. One set is running uh, inside of Flex and actually refers to my actual address. And the second set runs on the server. So actually when I'm done doing all my testing and my program's running the way it needs to be, when I transfer them to the server, I need to actually have it referenced locally, those files. Because if it tries to reach in and out, sometimes that won't work. And the reason it doesn't work is because this whole sandbox security issue with Flash uh, player, if you don't know about the sandbox security issue, uh, look into it. Uh, if you do, you, you've had a lot of heartache like I have. And trying to get around those issues have, has been tough sometimes. Uh, and uh, PHP is a great way to do that. Uh, another way, of course, is with Air. Adobe Air will do that as well. So um, that's just a little bit about the HP service command. Let's take a look at um, the program architecture. Basically, there's uh, two parts to this. I'm using states. Now, not a state engine, but actually states. So I'm going to go here, window and uh, click states. And I've actually got a number of tutorials on the web on how to use states for flex. Let's go to design mode. And so let's go back to states, open that up. So I have a base state, and that's where some base stuff is in. I have the Colada state, that's where I actually make the animations. And this start page, which is a start page where I choose my uh, vehicles, you see? So basically by using states, I can, transition, I can transition from one state to another when something changes. So I click here. From the start, it says go to the Colada page. I make my animation. So this is basically just two states right here as far as the program is concerned. And you can see all that when you go to the code. If you flip down here, you see all this coding here, adding and removing at the top here, has to do with the add child, remove child from those particular states. So there you go. Uh, I like state programming a lot, but you got to be careful. If you get real complex with it, it'll kind of mess up. So you got to be careful about that and use it for simple stuff. But it's very powerful. Uh, definitely when you have a login system, basically you can log in once to one state. If you get the password right, boom, pushes you over to the other state. state. So you'll see this uh, state being used over and over again. Don't confuse that with state engine programming, which basically are the positions of the, the craft as you press the different buttons, different from the, pro, the uh, state in flex. So I just want to make that point very clear. Okay, uh, just one more thing that's a focus manager. Oh boy, have I had trouble with this. And I did a lot of reading and study on this. I finally came to the conclusion that as your program gets more complex, you got to be very careful about focus. And you need a focus manager. So I actually used a hack. I just took a text box, and whenever I wasn't on the, the uh, arrow keys, I uh, was on the uh, control box. And when I needed to go back to the arrow keys, I basically just sent it back to the text box. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You're going, what is this guy yakking about? Well, if your applications in Flex become more complex than just a simple game, arrow key situation where you're slipping, switching back and forth between advanced applications, then you've got to use a, a focus manager. So here what it is, I basically I'm on the stage here and I'm using my arrow keys and to move the craft around, but now I switch over here to uh, my control panel or my little animation controls and when I start clicking on these, I lose focus from the stage, you see. So I need to transfer focus back to the arrow key so I can actually control my craft. And this little box up here, yeah, me, uh, right here. That's right, a little tiny box right there. Let's kind of amplify this a few times. That little box right there is a text box. And so what I'm doing is when I get off of this panel down here, I'm switching this back to this text box, which gives me control over the animation keys for the uh, craft. A little simple hack. I need to go in there and write a focus manager, but uh, that's what I'm doing right now, and it's working well. And let's show you one of the focus statements real quick. And I think we're pretty much close to being done with what we want to talk about for this. Let's go back to 100%. Uh, 
let me show setting that focus. If I come along here and I click on one of the planes, I can come back and take a look at the function. Here's the silver plane function. Let's click on that. And you can see immediately when I click silver plane, I hit this my focus dot set focus. My focus is the name of the text box. So I come along and click on the text box up here. Oh, it's really hard to get. Let me see if I can grab it here by getting No, I'm not going to be able to get it. But in that, let's see, see if the text box is inside there. There it is. There's that text input right there. And you can see right there, you can see my focus right there. And so it transfers the focus to that text box. So once, let's go to the next state. Let's bring this back down to... Uh, this control box. When I click on this, actually activated, I actually activate an animation. I actually want to transfer the focus back to the, the My Focus text box. Let's go to that. Let's take a look at that animation real quick here. Right, oh, roll over that and click with an Alt key down. It takes you to it. And you can see what I do. When I click on an animation and run it, I go back to the My Focus box. So I'm transferring focus back and forth. And like that's kind of a hack. I need to go in there and write a, a focus manager. But for now, hey, it works. And I'm really happy because I've had a lot of difficulty because my applications are fairly complex. I'm using for uh, education. And I need to know how to move that focus around. And it took a lot of analyzing the program to figure out really what was going wrong. And I, I read a million books and no one talked about it. So you know, if you knew the answer, of course, that's great. But you know what? For me, I didn't. And so it took a lot of work to get there. And so if you don't know the answer, you can say, hey, thanks, Mike, and uh, go for it. OK, so that's it for this uh, set. OK, that's it. I mean, there was a lot here. And uh, if you're into the programming part, not real exciting as far as the uh, animation and paper vision is concerned. But hopefully, some of this uh, will save you work as well. Uh, one more topic to treat here, and that is um, two special tricks and Swift 3D. See you next time.